salutations, my fine friend. Um, welcome to my wine tasting video. I have this. I know what you're thinking, how, how crass, how unsophisticated. Let me explain in a second, but before I explain, I have drank, I filled a full one of this up, I drank it all the way down, and I have just now poured a little more for us, for me, just in case I want to go a bit further, although I'm not sure I do. Um, I have a lot to say. I've become very familiar with the flavors here. Here, let me taste a quick taste since this is a wine tasting, even though I've tasted this quite a bit in the past hour. Yes, it's exactly as I thought. I've been very acquainted with this flavor over the past 30 something minutes. So let's talk about the flavor first and then we'll talk about the effects, which I really am interested in the effects, but people probably want to know about the flavor and what wine is this? What is this wine? What is this? A couple people guessed on Twitter if you guessed blackberry, you are correct. It is blackberry wine. Congratulations to all of the winners. You win one internet point. Um, uh, this internet point is redeemable in, in all the ways that all the other internet points are redeemable. Um, with the added bonus that if you ever get into NFTs, I will give you a free pixel gem. That's worth $100. It costs $100 to mint them. A free pixel gem to you. Uh, for your internet point if you were to have guessed Blackberry. Now, um, this, this counts even the people who guessed two fruits, although technically you only have half an internet point. If you guess something like pomegranate or Blackberry, you only get half, but I will still allow you to redeem it for one pixel gem. But at all other outlets, it is only worth half of, a, a half of an internet point, um, but it is still worth one pixel gem, so... Um, redeem that however you, you see fit. Congratulations to the winners. Um, this is fully organic. I used lemon for the acid blend. I used yeast, uh, yeast nutrients, no pectic enzymes, um, no Camden tablets. Totally organic. Uh, whole berry, use the whole berry of the blackberry in a brewing bag several days in primary fermentation, took the brewing bag out after uh, the primary fermentation, secondary fermentation, let it finish off just in liquid form. Very pure. Let's talk about that flavor. So the flavor, which I'm very familiar with, but let's just take a quick another taste. Yeah. You know, it's the same every time. Um, it's very simple. The biggest one is the alcohol. <laughs> this is very alcoholic. I would say at least 20%. Um, uh, although I haven't had alcohol in several years, so I could be off, but I've, I've had many wines in my life, and um, I know the percentages and how the alcohol tastes. It could be because this... Well, we'll get to the sweetness. It could be because the sweetness is rather low, um, that it tastes more alcoholic, but no, I would say I'm pretty, pretty certain that this is at least 18%, if not 20%. It's very alcoholic, much more than I thought. I thought it would end up 14. There's no way this is 14, just based on how it tastes to me. Not a chance. Um, Okay, so the main the main flavor is the alcohol, which is very nice, very smooth, very pure. No painfulness, no difficulty in swallowing. It's very smooth, it's very nice. I like it. Good alcohol. Um, the second main flavor is the tannic notes, which you might expect from blackberries. They are a bit bitter. Uh, the tannic notes are... Hmm... They're, they're very present, but they're not overpowering. They're, they're, they're quite nice. I would call this, 
I would call this um, quite sophisticated in terms of its tannic notes. I would call it quite sophisticated. It, it tastes like a really, really high-end wine, honestly, even though it's just organic blackberries. It tastes really nice, really pure, very... Um, exactly what you might want from a tannic wine without being overpowering. It's just, it's powerful, but it's not too much bitterness. After the bitterness is the acidity, probably from the acid blend, I'm not sure, but it's good. The acidity is quite low compared to, say, the tannicness, but it's there. You feel it on the tongue, not overpowering at all, though, as, as well, and you're glad it's there. It, it adds a little complexity, um, and, um, so there's like a sourness after that bitter note ends. There's a sourness there. And then right on the tail end, this is very tiny. Very tiny. You'd have to really be looking for it. There is a sweetness, but it's barely there. The, the, the tannic bitterness overpowers it entirely. Um, there is a sweetness right at the end. You, you, you could miss it if you weren't paying attention. But it is right there at the end. And then if you're really paying attention, this took me a long time of drinking this to really notice this flavor, but right at the tail end, the very end of it, there is a fruitiness. If you were to have told me this was grapes, I would believe the fruitiness was grapes. If you were to have told me this was pomegranate, I would have believed the fruitiness to be pomegranate. There's nothing, and, and I'm very familiar with blackberries, I eat them all the time. It's one of my favorite flavors when it's concentrated as well. So I know blackberry flavor. I would not peg the fruitiness as being blackberry specific. As much as I am sad to say, I wish I could. I wish this would be the, per this would literally be a perfect wine if I could peg that blackberry flavor as being blackberry, but I, I can't. I, it's just a clear berryness. It's berry, it's fruity. Um, is it wine? Is it pomegranate? Is it blackberry? I don't know. It's clearly a red berry of some sort, but I can't peg where it is. But it's there, and it adds this mysterious fruity flavor to the very tail end of that taste. Mm -hmm. So we have the alcohol, bitterness, acidity, and then it wears off. And then you just taste the sweetness. And then there's that berry. What is that? Is that blackberry? Is it pomegranate? Is it grape? I don't know. So that's it. That's the wine's profile. It's, it's very simple. There's no complexity to it. It's not hiding anything. It's, it's organic blackberries. Very simply fermented. Nothing special here. Um, why did I make this? I made this because I was playing Stardew Valley several, several months ago. Stardew Valley, it's a video game. And in this video game, let me catch my breath. In this video game, you can produce alcohol, you can produce beer, you can produce wine. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to, to make hops and beer and get um, different types of 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 alcohols. There's the wine, you can get pomegranate wine, you can get blackberry wine, you can get all sorts of things. My, my farm's specialty was maple syrup. My maple tree is called Maplewood Farm. That's my farm's name. It produces maple syrup. And during the blackberry season, it produces organic, wild harvested blackberry wine. That is its specialty. It only, only uses wild harvested blackberries. And that is my farm's specialty wine. And I was doing this and I was very much enjoying the, the sort of um, artisanal quality to, to wildly produced blackberry wine. So I decided to make, as close as I could, organic blackberry wine in real life. Holy shit, I'm drunk. Um, and... Yeah, so I was, I, was, I was like, I gotta try this. I've never had blackberry wine. Let me drink some water. Okay. 
So, so I decided I needed to try this, you know, if it's my specialty in this video game. And I don't even know how it tastes. I've got to at least try it. It tastes fantastic. Does it taste like blackberries? No, I'm a bit disappointed, but it tastes fantastic for a wine. Probably in my top three wines I've tasted in my life. Um, I'd say my, my, my favorite wine is a very sweet pomegranate wine. Um, they sell it at some stores, a very sweet pomegranate wine. I like the sweetness. It makes me happy. And it prevents me from drinking too much. I haven't had it in many years, though. Um, and then the, uh, the one after that would probably be, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm giving space, but I, I would say it's definitely in the top three wines I've tasted in my life. It's just, it's very simple, but it's very pure. It's very pleasant. Nothing off-putting about it whatsoever. Um, as a wine, it's good. As a blackberry wine, it does slightly fall short of what I would consider a perfect blackberry wine. It could have a tiny bit more sweetness and certainly a more distinct blackberry flavor. If it had that, and maybe even a, a very complex note right at the end, maybe they had like a spice, some, some cinnamon even maybe, I don't know, something over here, um, that would be a perfect wine. That would be my favorite wine on the planet. So it's really nice. Um... Effects. Let's talk about the effects. So, I would say inhibition absolutely lowered substantially. Um, so, very much lowered inhibitions. Ability to think long term, much, 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 much lower. Uh, only short term thinking, really. Yeah. Um, substantially inhibited long term thinking. Spatial awareness, drastically lower. Not aware of surroundings. Um, fear, worries, anxieties, completely smashed. No fear, anxieties whatsoever. Uh, I would say there's a happiness, a euphoric quality in the cheeks. I want to smile. Um, it makes me makes me happy. Makes me feel warm, happy. It makes me feel like there's nothing wrong. Um, I just took opiates the other day. Um, so much so that I was barely conscious. It was a. It was as if I. I was in this very bizarre realm between unconscious and conscious for like probably a solid three hours during that. And I can say the euphoria and the um, benefit of the opiates was nothing compared to what I'm experiencing now on this alcohol, despite the fact that I'm much more conscious on this alcohol. Um, and so for that reason, I would say that this alcohol this alcohol in particular is more dangerous than opiates for me. Um, there's a much more euphoric feeling. I feel happier. I feel safer. I feel like I could drink more despite the fact that I am very clearly very drunk. Um, it has worsened my judgment in a way that opiates did not. It has worsened my inhibitions in a way that opiates did not. And I would even say the euphoria is more than opiates gave me. Maybe opiates just don't work on me, but I can say, after I've tried, after I've trying many different doses of many different opiates, they're not as dangerous to me as alcohol is. Um, I could see, absolutely, I could see dying from alcohol. I could see uh, drinking too much and vomiting um, uh, due to the lack of judgment. To think the thought that, well, I feel so fantastic and perfect. There's no worries right now. I'm, I am not God. There's no ego. There's no ego. I'm not necessarily an egotistical bastard at the moment, but I am, um, I'm not worried. I'm not worried whatsoever. Um, and so that, that, that is dangerous. You know, there's a danger there if you don't have your faculties when you're drunk. 
that's a danger. That's why I would say that this is more addictive than opiates. Alcohol, at least for me, is probably more addictive than opiates. Much more positive effects. And I would say less negative effects. Um, at least so far. We'll see how, what happens. I'm going to probably stay hydrated after this. To avoid any uh, withdrawal hangover-like effects. Hearing is interesting. I am hearing less. So I have to speak louder than I would normally speak. Um, the world seems quieter. I want to listen to music. Um, I want to party. <laughs> I'm being I'm being brought back to my my college days, where the music would be boom, 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 beating in your chest. You'd be in a club, and you'd be, you know, in some way trying to interact with women who probably wanted nothing to do with you. But you didn't care because you're drunk and you have no shame. Um, this is society's drug. This is the drug that we use to take off the rules. We don't want these stupid rules. We want to be a fucking animal. We want to go back to the animal world. And maybe I seem like a piece of shit. Maybe I seem like um, a horny, drunk bastard. But perhaps that's all I need to be. Perhaps that's all anyone needs to be. And perhaps this society has gone too far. So we drink. And we party. And we're animals. And and there's, there's, no, there's not much more than that. There's not much more than that. Do you find me attractive? Do you want to have sex? If so, let's do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sort. I'm sort of kidding, but at the same time, I'm not really. I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna upload this almost in its entirety. <laughs> Even though I know I'm gonna feel so embarrassed at this afterward, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Um, overall, I would say um, 7.5 out of 10. If it had a better blackberry note, a little more sweetness, maybe a slight less bit on the tannic flavor. Acidity is perfect, and alcohol, I would say, is so nice. It's big, but it's smooth. If it had that profile, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10, leaving room only because... I imagine there probably is an alcohol that I haven't tasted that is better than that, but really quite nice. Seven and a half is pretty high marks from me. Um, most alcohols would not get a seven and a half that I've tasted in my life. Um, so pretty high marks, especially considering it's one of the first uh, wines I've brewed in my life. It's good. I mean, man, you could get drunk on this and not even notice. Uh, it's quite nice. It's just, it's very pleasant, very smooth. You could just keep drinking it. Um, it's quite nice. I'm getting this, I, I, I don't know, the fruitiness, it, it, again, it's just, what is it? It's blackberry, it's red wine, it's pomegranate, it's, it's clearly a red fruit, but it's not, um, holy shit, I shouldn't drink more. <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. I might end up, uh, no, I'm, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm fine. Yeah, but it's interesting. Anything other? Oh, my legs feel numb. Um, I would say I did stand up earlier to refill this, and um, I could barely walk. So, you know, the usual motor function is obviously 
um, hindered uh, judgment, I would say. Judgment definitely hindered. I attempted to grab this curtain back here to pull it over so I could come back into my little recording station, and um, I missed, which has never happened to me. When I tried to grab the curtain, I missed. And uh, so that for me was quite interesting because I'm, I would say, quite autistic in how I do things. I have a ritual. And uh, the fact that I missed the curtain tells me that my um, judgment and, and, and ability to control my motor functions is quite substantially inhibited at this moment. So, um, yeah, you know, basic alcohol stuff. Nothing I've said is in any way new, hopefully. <laughs> if you've had alcohol, everything I should, I've said probably makes sense. I'm just trying to give my honest, genuine opinion on what I'm, I'm experiencing, what I'm tasting. Um, I will probably never make another video dealing with alcohol. I just thought this was important. It was something I was doing because of the sort of inspiration. This is a drug that could lose, you know, allow you to lose your life to it. Not just in dying, I'm talking about like, you could, um, you could spend your life being a drunk and cutting, you know, taking off the edge every day after work and just so you could continue the monotony of modern society, modernity, and, um, it would help with that. But I would say that's a bad idea. Because this is not wholesome. This is not a wholesome drug overall. Um, there's nothing that this drug does to bring you towards true actualization and discovering um, a place of no suffering. This drug will embarrass you and hurt your relationships and make you stupid and untalented. And that is a life you can choose. You can choose to be stupid and untalented. And in modern society, that won't be detrimental to you necessarily. But I would say avoid this drug. It's very addictive. Um, it's quite intoxicating, quite alluring, um, quite fun. Maybe have it a few times, have some fun, be embarrassed, and, uh, and move on from it. And that's what I'm going to do. That is my advice. In addition to drink responsibly, don't, um, don't go as far as I've gone today. Although, I've gone further than this before. It's actually pretty amazing. I haven't had alcohol in five to six years, and here I am completely smashed. And you'd think, gosh, that would be such a jarring experience. No. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's funny. It's, you'd think it would be. You know, if I hadn't taken, like, shrooms for five to six years and I suddenly took one, that'd be quite a jarring experience. It'd be like, oh, you know, here's a whole reality I hadn't remembered or considered for such a long time. But this, because it makes you feel so safe and you don't have any inhibitions and your confidence, I would say, is substantially higher. Um, you don't feel worried. There's no fear. There's no... Um, regret, at least in the moment. Um, and so it's quite interesting how comfortable I am with a drug that I haven't taken for so long. And so, yeah, very comforting. At this point, I think I'm talking for too long. So there's my review. Um, maybe I didn't say the right things. Maybe I didn't do this as well as I could have. But... That is my review of alcohol and my blackberry wine. I don't really want to end the video, though, because 
I'm actually getting quite a bit more intoxicated as things go on. Um, and so I want to kind of leave room for any potential ending bits. I don't think there's much else to say. The more intoxicated I get, the less I really care about anything. Which feels good in the moment. But I do know that there are um, some benefits to hiding certain information and Maybe not, um, maybe, maybe keeping your, your guard up in certain situations, which this prevents. Um, useful, is a useful drug, what are its uses? Um, outside of modern society, I don't think it's very useful. It doesn't seem to have any real benefit. Um, can't process thoughts quickly, can't think as long term, not interested in deep philosophical thought. Um, just feel good, want to have fun, have no impulse control, want to do things that feel good. Um, and, um, and just for sensory pleasure. No interest in uh, um, more profound ways of going about life. Quite basic. Overall, a drug that I would say makes you dumber and less capable, especially in long-term use. But... I understand why people use it to take the edge off after work or something. It makes sense. I would say it's almost a medication in that sense. But um, I would say it's better to live a life where you don't feel like there is this edge you need to remove. I would say live a life where that edge is never put on in the first place. That is the remedy, not this drug, which is probably bad for your body and certainly bad for your mind. Yeah. Um, but despite that, I very much enjoy it, and I want to drink more. Um, so it's, <laughs> it's an interesting thing. The more I drink the more I feel like it's actually okay to be a drunkard, to be a total drunk. Um, and that's why I do think this drug is very dangerous. And I'll end it there. I think this is perhaps the most dangerous drug I've ever tried in my life, next to benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines are the most... No, MAOIs, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, are the most dangerous drug I've ever tried in my life. Then benzodiazepines than alcohol. I've not tried nicotine. I, I just don't really have any interest in it. It probably would make me rather anxious. Peripheral vision. Very fussy, very I feel so good. I feel fantastic. I feel happy. I feel actualized. It's almost as if this is everything I ever needed. What a dangerous drug this is. My feet are absolutely numb. <laughs> I just moved my legs. Holy fuck.
I couldn't walk right now if you if you if a cop were to pull me over. <laughs> of course I I'm not that much of a fucking moron. If you drive drunk, you are a piece of shit and you deserve to be killed. It's my opinion. Um, but I'm just saying if if a cop did <laughs> there's not a fucking chance. <laughs> I'd be able to walk in a straight line. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'd barely be able to stand up right now. Go oh, fucking god. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm about to fucking faint. So right now I'm I've just downed a bottle of water, I'm drinking another bottle of water. Um trying to dilute my blood a little bit, pee out a bunch of stuff. Overall <clears throat> And by the way, I'm completely smashed right now. I mean, like, I can barely function. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I vomited or, or passed out or something, but I'm fine. I'm just very, very intoxicated. I went way too far. Um, this is not a good drug. I don't even know if I'll be finishing what I have. Um, this is a an obscenely dangerous drug. Uh, I see no benefit to it whatsoever in the uh, sort of long term or even short term. Uh, I see why it's addicting and I see why it's used in society so much for social events. But overall, I think that's a mistake and is due to the fact that social events as they are planned are currently just not very good and um, society as it is currently is just not very good, and so we need drugs to cope with the inadequacies of modern society. Um, but overall, terrible drug. Um, the effects, while they seem fantastic, I would overall rate a 2 out of 10. Um, maybe 1.5 out of 10. Um, extremely dangerous. No benefit to the user, really. In the long term, certainly not. Perhaps in the short term, slight benefit. Um, but overall, terrible, terrible drug. Um, I would sooner take benzos only because it doesn't inhibit my uh, judgment quite as badly as I would say alcohol does. But... Uh, overall, these are two very bad drugs, benzos and um, alcohol. Um, I would say opiates are substantially more useful. And uh, yeah, so so my list currently is MAOIs are the worst drug. Benzodiazepines. No, I think alcohol beats benzo. Well, yeah, I think alcohol beats benzos, especially since it's so easy to get your hands on alcohol. So, MAOIs, alcohol, benzos. And then, um, I would say opiates after that. So, those are all very bad drugs. I wouldn't use them if I were you. Um, you'd be better off not doing that and doing something else. My heater's turning on, so this is a, probably a good place to end the video. Um, so, I know I'm dragging this out, just dragging this out, but this is probably the only video I'll ever make on alcohol. This is a very important drug for society. Um, I have to give it a complete condemnation of the highest order, not the highest order, I would say MAOIs take truly the highest order of condemnation, but this is not far behind because it is so seductive, you feel good on it, you feel like you can drink more, you feel like this is an okay state of being, I would say it's probably addictive, um, and I would say that most people are probably not as level-headed as I am on it, um, unfortunately for me. 
I would love to experience what I imagine other people experience. Unfortunately, my brain does not allow that for me. Um, I have a hard limit of what I am willing to give. Is this drug asks things from you and you willingly give it. You give it your inhibitions and you give it your fears and you give it all sorts of things. And um, my brain has a hard limit on what it's willing to give. And I would say this has hit that limit. And um, my brain is revolting against it. And it's saying, um, you won't take, you won't take my ability to think clearly. You won't be able to take that from me. You'll have to, you know, knock me out. You'll have to make me unconscious to take that from me. You won't be able to take that from me while I'm conscious. And I didn't drink enough to make me unconscious. Although I almost did. Um, there are several sensory differences. Hearing is, I would say, substantially numbed. Things are dull. Things are quiet. Um, in comparison to what they should be. Um, sensory pleasures and stuff. Physical sensation dulled. The whole body is numb. Um... Uh, eyes, visual, perception is grayer, dulled, not as important. I don't even perceive these things that are occurring, you know, it's just, my brain just filters it out, doesn't need to, doesn't need to perceive, it's not important. Um, overall made me less aware. And at that point, my body began to revolt against it. And um, has told me that, you know, my, my just, my innate self has told me, like, this is not good. So that's all I can say on it. Um, I would, I would advise nobody ever take this drug. And if you feel like you should take the drug, and you are in a situation where you feel unsafe and in some way in danger, and you should overall get out of that situation, not take the drug that makes you feel like that situation is okay. Um, that is a coping mechanism for a overall bad situation, an unwholesome situation which will only bring you to suffering. This has been my review of alcohol and my blackberry wine. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will never be uh, using alcohol on this channel again. I may or may not be using alcohol a little just to thin my supply, but overall I'm not happy. Um, despite the euphoria, I am um, quite disappointed in what I found in this drug, quite saddened by the fact that this drug is society's drug. I expected so much more. I expected to find something beautiful here because this is what people use. I have found such darkness that uh, honestly makes me pissed off even more so at society's it currently is, which I did not think I could be. So. I'm very ashamed and disgusted and uh, upset at all of you, all of society, for allowing this to become the drug that we use. This is very un unfortunate uh, and has genuinely upset me, although I feel fantastic. I know that this will take a quite severe emotional toll on me later, and I am very sad at that. Um, and almost want to cry at the uh, certainty of the fact that we're, we're in way over our heads. We've gone too far down this path. This is very saddening to me. Take care, everyone. 
um, do not worry for me, I'm going to be okay. I just have to incorporate this into my, into my, uh, sense of self and figure out what the correct way to move forward with this new information is. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if this was upsetting or troubling for you. It, it was quite upsetting and troubling for me. But know that I'm going to be okay and um, that I love you all. And I'm going to find a way around this because this, is, this has shown me something new and more information, more truth can't possibly be bad despite the pain that I currently feel. Take care.